Hello there, welcome to TSL series of Let Me Show You How. And so today I'm going to show you a safety feature on the Cat Next Gen excavator called E-Fence. Okay, so what is uh, E-Fence? So E-Fence allows you to set the boundaries to the left, to the right, to the top and the bottom of your excavators so that you won't hit into anyone or anything at the job site. If you um, have set the boundaries to the left, it will not go further to the left. If you set the top, it will not go higher. So let me show you how to do it on the excavator and uh, what happens to the excavator when you set the boundaries. Okay, let's go. So first you click on this icon with the excavator inside. So when you click on it, it will show you a list of all the E-Fence settings that we have on this next-gen hex. So there's the E-Ceiling, the E-Floor, the E-Wall, Cap Avoidance, E-Swing Left. How to activate it is really simple. You just have to tap on the line itself and it will turn green. So once it turns green, it means that it's activated. When you click again, it turns off, it's off. Turn on, on. So now let me show you how to actually set the boundaries for it. So first, you actually click on the arrow on the right and click on. So it will now turn green and now you set your ceiling height. So for example, we want to set a ceiling height at of 8 meters. So once done, click OK and it will be set at 8 meters now. So when you're back at the main screen, you will notice that there is an extra green line on top of the excavator. It shows that the e ceiling has already been set. So just to confirm that we have set at 8 meters height. Okay, so now let's set the E-Swing. Click on the right arrow and click on. Now there'll be a number that pops up. So we don't want this and we're going to do our own. We are now we're going to set the angle from the excavator itself. And then we're going to move our excavator exactly to the spot where we want it to be. Once done, you click on the icon again, click on the E-Fence and then now it will set at the angle that you want. So looking back at our monitor, you will notice that there is a new green line. So that's where your E-Fence boundary will be. The excavator will not swing past the angle that you have set. And so now let's see what happens outside. have a better understanding on how the e-fence works. So I'll see you next time.